Hello, teacher. Good evening. Hello. Good evening, Marlon. How's it going? Everything's great, teacher. And you? How was your day? It was great, actually. It was interesting. Teacher, and you, the, the whole day, uh, teach in a, at Zoom? The whole no. Day. No, I actually work uh, from home at a call center oh, okay. from 5 a.m. to 12.30. Then I go and teach um, at Fe Alegria. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then at night, I'm here with you for four hours. Or two, actually. Okay. No, just two, two hours. Okay, so just um, half day, you are in a call center, right? Yeah, basically from 5 a.m. to 12 30, that's like 7.5 hours. Then I teach for an average of two or four hours somewhere else. And then I'm two hours here at night. Okay. Mm -hmm. I thought I thought that you spend the whole day teaching, <laughs> but no, right? No, not right now. I'm planning. I'm planning to start doing that by myself. That's just a project right now. It's for just, yourself, like a private classes or what? private private classes. Private class. Yes, I'm I'm developing my own my own stuff. You know. Uh, but it's, it's very difficult. I just finished the certification with OIT, so, and they liked uh -huh. it. They liked the project, so let's see what happens. Yeah. Let's see what happens. Hopefully. It's, it seems it's going in the right way, right? Uh, actually, yes, because the approach, you know what is a, a, the approach? El alcance. Uh, right, but uh, in, uh -huh. in uh, teaching, it's like the methodology. Mm -hmm, the mm -hmm. approach with the students is, is is very good. It's actually like having a teacher the whole day, you know, for yourself. Mm -hmm. It's a platform that will allow you to uh, be watching short videos like Millennial. Mm -hmm. Are you Millennial? Yeah, sure. I'm from 94. So, yeah. So do you prefer extended classes with a lot of explanations or... Mm -hmm. Or short videos to explain the grammar. Maybe could depend about the free time that I can have. Um, because, but, but personally, um, I I prefer short videos. Yeah, this is, <laughs> we millennials we prefer short short videos. You know, explaining things. That's why mm -hmm. TikTok. That is why TikTok is so famous. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very short videos. You know, explaining do it yourself things, for example. How to build something in five minutes i mean yeah and it's very easy to, to use right to understand and to and use it so that's the idea that's the goal mm -hmm. and then having a, a scheduling a class whether it is virtual or presential you know live class uh, with the teacher after learning by yourself in your house one topic you go to a class with a teacher you practice and the teacher will tell you, hey, you got it. Let's move mm -hmm. on. Let's go to the next to the next topic. OK. Yeah, that's right. Point of view, because the students could practice the times that they like. Right. Mm -hmm. Before before to talk with the teacher. Right. Exactly. Until you gain confidence. That's the point. Mm -hmm. once, once you gain confidence and, and you feel confident talking about a specific topic, then you can have the class. Yeah, That's the whole and idea. We are not afraid to to try it, right? <laughs> That's the main problem. I mean, confidence is the, the key uh, to learn a language, to do anything in life. You have to be confident, mm -hmm. right, Rebecca? Hello, I'm sorry, I couldn't hear you. <laughs> what are you how, oh. how, how confident are you with English now at this point? I don't know. I think it's difficult to me, actually. I overthinking always the, the things I'm, I'm talking. And I think that's the reason I'm not so confident about speaking. Hmm. OK, let's listen, Giovanni. How confident do you feel about speaking at this point? Um, I think. 
it's very hard for me. Um, sobre todo, no sé cómo traducir eso. Overall. Sobre todo, overall, eh, think in English. Thinking in English. Thinking in English. This is a, a big problem for me. Okay, I like this topic. Juan, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How confident do you feel speaking in English? Como? How confident do you feel about speaking English at this point? Que tan confianzudo, Juan. Que tan confianza. Cuánta confianza sentís en ti mismo hablando inglés. I feel a little a little complicated. A little complicated, okay. Yes, I don't have full practice. Full practice, okay. Two keywords. Number one, Rebecca said overthinking. As adults, as adults, we're overthinking all the time right? Shall I do this? What if the boss says that he doesn't like my job? Oh my God. What if he says, yes, that would be great, but he will say no. And then we focus on the negative things. We always, as adults, focus on the negative things. Okay. So overthinking, don't think too much. And Juan just said something else. Uh, you don't feel confident. You get nervous. You get nervous when you speak. Nervousness, nervousness comes from here too. Okay. Now, how do you break that barrier? How do you break that barrier for once? Talk to yourself all the time. Just talk to yourself. Start with Spanish and listen to yourself. <laughs> listen to your heart. <laughs> like Roxette come on just listen to yourself all the time what do you can you tell me one thing that you repeat to yourself every day what is it what you repeat to yourself every day the most in mm. English or what no in your life what do you repeat to yourself can I give you an example no, no voy a, I'm not gonna, no lo voy a poder decir en inglés, porque igual, la, que nomás me despierto, ¿sí? ¿Qué es lo primero que decís cuando suena la alarma? <risa> y si te agarra la tarde, ¿te llamas? Huevón, que no sé qué, qué perezoso sos. So guess what? The more you repeat that phrase to yourself, the more you will become that person that you will get that attitude so if you're calling to yourself that you're lazy you will be lazy if you're always thinking i'm always late i'm always late yes you will be late okay be careful with what you repeat to yourself because that that's what you become el cerebro convierte la información que le llega primero en su realidad y no distingue Es, es, es interesante estudiar eso. Busca videos de YouTube, de TED Talks sobre, sobre neurociencia. Otro rollo, de verdad. ¿Cómo funciona tu cerebro y por qué se te autogestionas? It's amazing. Vas manejando. Tu vista periférica ve un anuncio de Coca-Cola. Diez segundos después. Esa... Diez segundos después, quiero una Coca. <coughs> right? Y ni cuenta te diste, no te diste cuenta. En otras palabras, dice un video por ahí, el mundo te da paja. Date paja vos solo. Right? Empezá a decirte, yo puedo, yo puedo. I can do this. I can be better. I can speak English. I can speak English. I can speak English. Be careful with pronunciation. Don't say I can't. Okay. <laughs> okay. okay, guys. So yesterday, we talked about an easy topic but turned out to be difficult time contrast who can remember the time expressions we used yesterday tense 
since nowadays That's... nowadays okay oh there it is look okay nowadays so there are three stages right three stages we start talking about past mm -hmm. then we move to the present and then the future so as you saw if you notice on the chart and the following images you had uh, expressions to use in past and expressions to use in present and in future. So about the past, at that time, in the past, then, okay, it's just that in that time, you know, schools were more strict. The administration used to be more strict, right? We were talking about schools. Back then, I told you, what is back then? What is the meaning of back then? Oh, Richard, good evening. In aquel good entonces. Evening. That's right. In aquel entonces, back then. Man, back then, um, a Popeye's chocolate used to be one colon back then. One colon for a Popeye's chocolate. Delicious. Nowadays, you can't find Popeye's chocolate from El Salvador anywhere. No more. No more. In the future, maybe one day, you know, they will think about making up more Popeye's chocolate, but it doesn't exist anymore. It was delicious. Okay. That was the past. Then you have expressions on the present. Currently, in the meantime, I don't like that one. What do you think in the meantime? Does that sound appropriate to talk about the present? No, what's mean? That, that's like meanwhile, mientras tanto. Oh, okay. Right? Hmm. Now, nowadays, currently, any other? These days? Today. Today. Mm. Right now. Right now, they're changing. Yes, be careful with right now. Um, and now, they are changing. You need to continue with present continuous because that is happening right now. And for the future, missed it? For the future, in the next couple of years, next year, next month, in the near future, okay? Very close future. They will, and then you continue with future, okay? Now, these are okay. other phrases. As a child, I used to, five years ago, let's talk about public transportation, shall we? Okay, so that's yeah, the that's, that's the topic. Public transportations. Who wants to start? Remember, past, present, future. I I will start teaching. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Uh, I remember here in my neighborhood, um maybe ten years ago. Um the the buses was very where? were were very very old older than today because um in this in at this time in at that time at that time um uh, that buses has the motor in the back side of the bus and oh. make a very strong noise when you are in, right? And sometimes when you're inside and sometimes uh -huh. uh, the buses lose the brakes. Um, <laughs> yeah, it was so dangerous. And okay. Um, nowadays, the, the buses, it is still old, right? But They're still old, are still, still old. The buses are still old. Are still old. Mm -hmm. um, but newer than than the older ones, right? But but still old, old and in the okay. back, bad condition. 
in the future, I don't know what I can wait about it. I don't know what to expect. Repeat. To expect I don't know it. what to expect what about to expect it. About it. Um, maybe we could have some buses where air conditioned, but air conditioning, air conditioning, air conditioning, air conditioning. But today we don't have it. <laughs> right now we don't have them. Actually, right they do. There are some uh, routes. There are some routes. Routes. Mm -hmm. There are some routes with. Um, AC with AC with air conditioning, and they charge more. Their fare, five cents. Their fare is higher. You know what is a fare? No. For, 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 for. Tarifa. Yes, tarifa. Uh -huh. Their fare tarifa. is higher. They charge a higher fare for having for having AC even though they don't turn on the AC, <laughs> yeah, they right. still charge a higher fare. And that is unfair. There is unfair. That's unfair. Because we are paying that. <laughs> You're still paying a higher fare, but not for the purpose of it. Okay, mm -hmm. love that topic. Now, I need you to tell me what topic would you like to talk about? Options. Let me give you an idea. Can I uh, about the topic the mm -hmm. remember it has to do something with it has to be something with uh, that affected the past, the present, and will affect the future. Um, you can talk about global warming, for example. Um, you can talk about our currency. I'm sorry, Richard? Environment. Value. No, environment. environment. The, the environment, that's global warming, yes the environment, mm -hmm. how the weather has changed, global warming, environment, or currency. You remember the colones? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, how expensive life is or was or will be. Okay. We could talk about girls, but it will be unfair because we <laughs> only have we have we have Mercy and Rebecca, and that's it. No, no more women in this group. It's very sad. I mean, what's going on here? Okay, women before, or men before, now, and in the future. Okay, how do you say macho in English? Male. <laughs> men. <laughs> no. Male. Male. Uh, macho men. Yeah, they, they Americans say macho men, you know. Hmm. Yeah, so stop being a macho man. That does that sound good at all. Okay, so there you have, I'm gonna give you just 10 minutes right now, it's 9.20, 10 minutes. So you can please try to have this conversation with your classmates, build a conversation starting from a point in the past, coming to the present and then moving to the future. We only have nine minutes. I'm going to split you in small groups. Please make sure you speak. That's very important. Okay. Okay. Let's go. Okay. <laughs> Kike. How are hey, you? what's up, man? Feels <laughs> good. I feel good. You? I'm, I'm good too. Okay. Okay. How uh, was your vacation? Very nice. No problem. Everything okay. I relax. Okay. I okay. I rest a lot. Okay. Um, only you know, eat. 
una moda. Eat and sleep. Eat and sleep. Eat and sleep. And watch TV. Eat and lips. Sorry, I don't understand. What do you mean? Okay, let's Eat. see. So let's talk about your vacations. Since you're talking about your vacations, how were your vacations as a kid? How are your vacations nowadays? And how do you think they will be in the future? When I was a kid. Okay, let's start with simple past. Juan, Kike. I... ¿Cómo sería? Que hable acerca de mis vacaciones. Right, estoy preguntando, ¿cómo eran tus vacaciones antes? Ahora y cómo serán en el futuro. Um, wow. uh, when was I? When I was? was ¿Cómo se dice soltero? When I was single. 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 When I was That's single, mm -hmm. I remember. Um, I used to. Uh, I used to. Used to a be verb, a verb in base form. I used to. I used to go when to the go, go. cinema. Uh -huh. I used to go to the cinema. Good. Go o when? Go. Porque ya tenés used to. Ese used, mira, ya está en pasado. So, I used to go to the cinema. Ah, uh, okay. I used to go to the cinema. Oh. Um, play, play football. I used to play Pretty. football. I used to play football every every Sunday. Okay, on your vacations, on your vacations, and now. Oh, now I. I. Como se dice. I have pass, to pass more time with my family. I spend. Okay more time i spend more time with my family spain es como gastar, gastar como... sí pero cuando hablas de um, pasar tiempo pasar con la familia tiempo. así lo utilizas i spend more time with my family i spend more time with the kids in the future i go into the Mm, and, uh, se dice? Sí. Que estás adivinando. O sea, es como, uh, maybe in the future I will be retired. Estaré retirado. Retired, I, I will, I will be alone. More. <laughs> ¿Cómo se dice? Me quedaré solo, quizá. I will be left alone. I will be left alone. Me dejarán solo, or I will be alone. Estaré solo. I will be alone. Okay. I think, I think. You think. Okay. I want to hear Rebecca. Your vacations. What did what what did they used to be? How they are nowadays and how will they be? What do you think? Mm, I think when I was a child, I think everything was a big big experience because I didn't know any place and all the things were new. And actually um, they were uh, small plants like uh, we used to go to the beach with my parents or with, or maybe a little park. I don't know, not so big things. And now, I love 
I really enjoy to go to a beach. Um, I used to go to a beach. That's my favorite plan in every place. And in the future, I think I will have enough money to enjoy vacations in other countries and to travel a lot and to know a lot of new beaches. Good, great job. And other countries, you will say other countries. Remember, other countries, pluralize, okay? Um, or another country. Okay. Good, good job. Okay, Kike, try it, try it. I have to go to another group. Please try it again. Change the topic. We're still missing three minutes. Go ahead. Uh, the cassette to CD. We think that uh, the CD was the top of technology and nothing could, could super it. That, or, or what we can use that teacher to super. Nothing could. Hmm. How do you say superar? Uh -huh. Could be better than, than the cassette. Nothing could be better than I forgot cassette. that word. I can't believe I forgot a word. No, practice Nothing teacher. cool. Yeah, I know. And I <laughs> overcome overcome is something else. Wait. Yeah, and now the CD is something something old. Surpass. Uh, surpass. Surpass. Mm -hmm. Surpass. Surpass. S U R P A S S. Yeah. Okay, now uh, if you use a CD, you are using something old. Um, yeah. Maybe. Yeah, <laughs> something. Um, outdated. Outdated. You're using something outdated. Old dated. Outdated. 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 Antiquado. Outdated. Like outdated, but oh. without. Oh. Out. Outdated. Outdated. It's uh, outdated. outdated. Antiquado. Outdated. Antiques? Antique. With, huh? An antique is something old. But outdated is still there. Uh, but it's um, not that old. And technology tends to become outdated very fast. Technology. Uh, tends to come outdated very fast. Okay, keep going. Okay, okay. Or, or maybe you any young Edwin, uh, in the future could change the way that we hear music. Nowadays we hear music uh, with, through, headphones. with headphones, headphones or with wireless headphones, right? Mm -hmm. Better in the future. Maybe we will have Cheap. some, uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> something in the, I, the, I, right. guess, I guess uh, uh -huh. in the future, the technology uh, will be superior or superior, superior uh, to Spotify, Spotify. For Spotify. Hmm. For Spotify. Uh -huh. We already have glasses, right? You, you're aware that we already have glasses where you can watch TV in one eye and just look for the rest of things with the other and listen to music with like your virtual, like virtual, virtual reality. reality. Virtual reality, there you go. Virtual Google Lens, sound. I think that's... Yeah, Google, Google, Lens. Google Glasses, that's crazy. Uh-huh, yes. But that could be something dangerous, I think, because if you always use that glasses, looking TV in one eye and watching your normal, your real life with another eye, when you remove the glasses, you will be como visco. <laughs> <laughs> you will be crossed eyes. Uh -huh. Cross eyes. Uh -huh. Cross eyes. Cross eyes. There is a lot of people getting seizures nowadays. Seizures. Seizures. What yep. seizures? Let me look for the right. Um, uh, seizures are convulsiones mm -hmm. when they use I just remembered that term when they use virtual reality glasses they're getting seizures because they're they're using both parts of the brain at the same time and 
we are not designed that way. <laughs> yeah. Okay. We don't have a an i7 processor in our brain. <laughs> <laughs> have you ever wear that glasses did you have like? you ever worn have you ever worn those glasses mm -hmm. no i never wanted to i never wanted I, have, to. I actually have used it but I, um before i used it um i used them i used them i feel really dizzy, right i <laughs> felt really dizzy i felt really dizzy, dizzy. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Okay, guys, let's move on. Great job. Thank you for speaking. Okay. okay. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Okay, 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 okay. We're Teacher. just coming back. Hello. I want to ask. ¿Cómo sería? Quiero hacer una pregunta. I want to ask question. I want to make, make a question. I want to make a question. I have a question. I have a question, teacher. Uh, what is the different difference bit, between trip travel? Hmm. Good question. Who can give me an answer? What is the difference between trip and travel? Or 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 vacation or holidays. And vacation and holiday. My cat is coming after a week of being on the roof. Okay, sorry about the noise, one second. Sorry. Very strictly. Strict. Strict. I'm restricted? No, no, no. I'm taking care of the three little demons, you know. Well, actually four. And as you can see, he's uh. he doesn't want the cat to come in through the window. Uh. <laughs> he oh, he God. doesn't he, he wants to play with the cat, you know. So my little uh. girl is wanting to, to feed the cat. Uh. And Max doesn't want the cat to come in. It's everyday story. So uh, let's answer Juan's question. Trip. A trip is a trip. A trip is a journey. A trip is a journey, Juan, that you take with your friends. Short trip. Okay. Yeah, I got it. It could be a long trip. It could be a road trip. You take your car and you go on a road trip, like Red Hot Chili Peppers, road trip. Okay, that's one kind of a trip. Travel, to travel is to take a mean of transportation like your airplane and you go somewhere else and you travel. You can travel to the interior of the country too by bus, but you're traveling to another place for some time. You got it? Still? No? Yeah. Not so not <laughs> a bit lost. I know. Is that, that, that's a good Más o menos, more or less, or a lot of? Sort of. Sort of. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sort of. OK, and one more thing. Travel. Okay, travel is most of all a verb. You use it as a verb. Okay, now trip, be careful with this. Trip is a noun. Si me entendes eso, trip es un nombre, mm -hmm. no es un verbo. Si lo usas como verbo, quiere decir tropezarse. La misma escritura. <gasps> you trip. You trip with the floor. You trip mm -hmm. with the floor and then you fall. Okay? Mm -hmm. Be careful with that. So if you trip, you fall. That's the verb, but as a noun. So think about it. That's the answer. If you say, um, I'm on a trip. I'm on a trip. Um. You cannot say, I'm on a business travel. I'm in a business travel? No, I'm on a business trip. 
estoy en un viaje de negocios. Ok. I'm traveling for business. Estoy viajando por negocios. In order to understand it, make some examples. I think that will be, that will be better. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, but because But keep it's, that, confused. Keep, it's confused. I know. Keep that in mind. Travel verb. Trip noun. No. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. Vaca now, vacation. Your vacation is just a time, a time period that you have off. It's time off for you or your family, you know, to enjoy. A holiday is a stipulated date on the calendar where mm -hmm. nobody works a holiday. Nobody works a holiday. Okay. And we have a holy week. Right? Okay. Yes, thank you. That's very clear, that's easier. Okay, guys, Whew. let's go with your platform. Where were we? Uh, you see the past. You see past, the present, present past. and future. <laughs> past, present and future. Okay. Ese tema es muy importante. Tienen que practicar de tal, manera, de tal manera que logren dominar una conversación pasando del pasado al presente, del presente al futuro. Okay, try to do it. So let's watch this short video about our next topic. Okay, let's pay attention, please. Ready to work on pronunciation? Notice the intonation in these statements beginning with a time phrase. Pronunciation. Intonation in statements with time phrases. Part A. Listen and practice. Notice the intonation in these statements beginning with a time phrase. In the past, very few people used computers. Today, people use computers all the time. In the future, there will be a computer in every home. Can you now complete these statements with your own information? Read the statements to your teacher. As a child, I used to... Okay, I'm gonna go one by one with you so we can intonate on the proper way. Let's see. So, Juan, you're the first one on, on the list. So, can you try to use this sentence? You, you will need to say, as a child, I used to. Okay. Mm, yes, I... ¿A dónde llevo la entonación? Here you have it, yes. It's at the end. Here. Okay, so as a child, I used to. You, you need to complete the sentence. I used to. I. Um, I used to play football. Okay, as a child, now intonation, as a child, I used to play football. What do you think, guys? Is that okay? As a child, I used to play football. That's better, right? As a child, I used to play football. Okay, let's go with mm -hmm. Ricardo. Richard. Tell me. Okay, try to intonate and complete the sentence. Two years ago. Two years ago, I... I used to to drive my old car. <laughs> Good. To, to drive my old car. Um, and Ever it was very nice. <laughs> and it was very nice. Okay. Two years ago, two years ago, I used to drive. I used to drive my old car, and it was very nice. And it was very nice. So let me go back here. I think you didn't get it. Okay. So again, intonation. In the past, 
In the past, very few people used computers. In the past, very few people use computers. Today, people use computers all the time. In the future, there will be a computer in every home. In the future, there will be a computer in every home. Okay, can somebody read for me these examples following the intonation? Once again. Let me see. In the past, the past, very people use computers. Very few people. Very few people use computers. Better, thank you. Today, mm -hmm. uh, another, other. Keep going. Uh, mm -hmm. Today, people, the people use computer all the time. Okay, people use computers all the time. All the time. You go down all the time. All okay. the time. Excellent. Somebody else? In the future, there will be a computer in every home. Better. Thank you. Okay. So that's the idea. Uh, first, you raise your voice. You raise mm -hmm. your voice on the time clause, right? The time phrase in the past, today in the future, and I want you to notice something. There is a comma. You see the comma? Mm -hmm. On the time phrase, you have a comma. In the past, today, in the future. OK? okay. And then okay. there's the intonation. Before the comma, you have the intonation up. You yeah. rise, raise your voice. And in the last word, you say, you have an intonation going down. Going down. Going down. Okay, okay. In the point. Future. There you go. Okay, questions. Always mm. in the point we fail the intonation. Do you, oh, do you mean, do you, do you fall, the intonation falls. The intonation falls after the point, yes. Point. I mean, or okay. on the last word you say before the period, the period. That's right. Okay. Okay. When we use, uh, excuse me, teacher. Mm -hmm. When we use uh, a time phrase, uh, every time you your intonation it will be uh, going up. Right. Right. Before the comma. That's right. Okay. The past, okay. future. Nowadays. Da -da 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 -da. Ah. Nowadays. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, I got it. Okay, good. So that was just the intonation. This is a very there will simple topic, not difficult. Okay. Let's see, then we have condition. Oh, ho, ho, ho. okay. So uh, today is Tuesday. And what time is it? We're only missing 15 minutes. So let's watch the introduction. This will be just the introduction to conditional sentences with if clauses. Okay, I love this topic. It's very interesting and it's very useful too. So let's pay attention. Let me see how Jessica explains this topic. I'm curious, I'm curious. Please pay attention. Hi, we're about to study conditional sentences. A sentence is formed by a possible situation and a consequence. Pay attention to the audio program for more explanation. Conditional sentences with if clauses. Possible situation plus simple present. If you get a high paying job. Consequence plus future with will, may, or might. You won't have to work as hard. If you get a high paying job, you won't have to work as hard. If you don't have to work as hard, you'll have a lot more free time. If you have a lot more free time, you might get bored. If you get bored, you may have to look for another job. 
The first conditional is a structured used for talking about possibilities in the present or the future. We will explain you how this conditional is formed and when it is used. When we talk about this conditional, which is called first conditional, by the way, we will divide it in two parts, if clause and main clause. In conditional, we use the word if. So we say, if I study, I will pass my exam. Follow me in the structure, if clause, if plus subject plus verb in simple present. Main clause, subject plus will plus verb. Let's work on more examples. If you save money, you will go on a trip. If she speaks English, she will have a better job. If we exercise, we will be healthy. All of these examples show a possibility of what might happen if. I will give you some possible situations. Try to give me your consequence using the structure learned. Don't forget to write them on our discussion box. If you study English, if you lose your job, if you have children, don't forget to write your consequence using the future will, may, or might. I'll have a lot more. Okay. Um, really quick. Who is familiar with this um, type of conditionals? Are you familiar with uh, conditionals? No, yes, kind of. No, no. Rebecca, yes. Marlon, yes. Kike, no. Giovanni, no. no. Okay, Juan, no. Okay. No. Mercy, I cannot see you. Okay. Well, Carlos as well. Okay. Good, guys. Uh, let's think about it for a minute. Uh, vamos a hacer la introducción a esto. Como es primera vez que se lo voy a enseñar, pues o, para la mayoría no lo ha visto, ¿no? Eh, ¿De qué estamos hablando? De, de una situación hipotética ¿sí? y por ende se apega mucho al español, pero de manera así, a grosso modo, hay cuatro condicionales. No empiezan desde el uno, empiezan desde el cero. Ok. And that's it. Zero, one, two, and three. El condicional cero es el que en, en el que ocupas el presente simple contra el presente simple y sirve para um, hablar de situaciones reales, algo verídico. Okay. Present versus simple present, lo mismo. Okay, uh, for example, if you heat ice, it melts. Okay. If you hit ice, it melts. Okay. So, siempre vas a ver la misma estructura. Y esta partícula, el if, debe estar presente. ¿Qué quiere decir if? ¿Alguien? Sí. 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 sí, pero voy a aclarar esto porque ya me pasó una sí, vez. Sí, condicional. Sí, condicional. No es que si te pregunto, are you okay? No, me vayas pues... a decir if. Ajá. <laughs> Porque ya me lo han hecho, por eso se los digo. Ok, so if you hit ice, it melts. ¿Es cierto eso o no? If you hit ice, it melts. That's true. It's true, right? Ok, bien. A mí me gusta hacer la broma de que el que se le ocurrieron los condicionales no pensó en el presente versus el presente. Y se dejó ir con el 1, el 2 y el 3. Y ya pues al final dijo, hey, espérame, pero el presente. Ok, le puso el 0. Ok, y lo que vamos a ver ahora es el número 1, que es una cláusula en simple present uh, que va a afectar, ok, va a afectar en el futuro. Simple future, o podría llamarle también a esto unreal, um, possible future. Okay. Puede ser posible el futuro o simplemente futuro simple. Es decir, una acción que realizas o que realices ahora, es decir, la condición, y es por eso se llaman condicionantes, condicionales. 
Si esta condición se cumple, la, el condicional cero sería, si esta condición se cumple, pues estar, eh, este, sería el, este es el resultado. Si esta condición se cumple, este es el resultado. El condicional 1 sería, si esta condición se cumple, esto ocurrirá. Este será el resultado. So, if you eat a lot, uh -huh. what happens? You will be fat. You will. Uh -huh. <laughs> You will be like the teacher. I mean, you will be fat. Exactly. Very good. Uh, it, you will be a stomach. <laughs> you will have, you will get a stomach yeah. ache. Stomach. You will get a stomach ache. Very yeah. good. Stomach ache. You do it. You... If, you don't need, if you don't take a shower. <laughs> you smell. You smell. Be careful. Future. You smell. Lovely. <laughs> okay. Ahora una cosa más. Yo puedo jugar con las oraciones siempre y cuando cumpla con una um, una regla, ¿sí? Si mi cláusula condicionante, es decir, la cláusula if, va al principio, voy a separar por una coma las dos cláusulas. ¿Ok? Si mi cláusula resultante, o sea, el resultado de la acción anterior, va al principio, pues voy directo, ¿no? Sin, el, sin la coma. Eh, por ejemplo, podría decir acá, you'll smell if... You don't take a shower. Mm -hmm. you know, ya no agrego una coma. Right? Porque ya está el if ahí. So, ¿Sí se comprendió eso? Yes, no. Cláusula yes, no. de resultado primero. Entonces no pongo coma. Solo sigo. You'll, you'll smell if you don't take a shower. ¿Sí? Olerás si no te bañas. Si no te bañas. ¿Ok? ¿Cuál es la estructura? Tengo una partícula... Um, Perdón, el if, ¿verdad? Que eso siempre tiene que ir. Si voy a ocupar mi cláusula condicionante primero, va el if, luego el sujeto. Ojo, esto es presente simple. Ok, so, sujeto, verbo, complemento, right? Simple yes. present. Y luego viene el resultado en un futuro, como es el condicional 1, sujeto. Y acá, yo puedo jugar con ciertos modales, ¿ok? Puedo decir, you will, ¿ok? Bueno, he hecho varios. Um, you will, you are going to, you might, you may, you could. That's it. Siempre tomando, oh, you would, you would también, you would be fat. Siempre hablando de probabilidades. Um, so if you study, mm -hmm. you're what? going to pass the exam. You're going to pass the exam. Very good. The test. Test. That is correct. Okay, can you give me some other examples? You, okay, if you... let's do something because you're very quiet. So could you go to the chat, go to the Zoom chat and start typing your examples? Follow the structure, follow the structure of the conditional one. Ouch.
<laughs> Yo, if you don't practice, you won't speak English. Perfect. You should pray if you don't, <laughs> if you don't, don't have, have a, child. a child, be careful. If you don't have a child, you get more money. Okay, if you don't have children, está pluralizando, Giovanni. If you don't have children, entonces al pluralizar, pues pluralizo. <laughs> Perdón, <laughs> generalizando, entonces pluralizas. If you don't have children, you get more money for you. You get more money for yourself. Okay, um, pensamiento egoísta, así tiene que ser. If you don't have children, you get more money for yourself. If you write a book, you will be a famous writer. Beautiful. Nice, Ricardo. Okay. If you play soccer, you will have fun. Edwin, you will have fun. Rebecca is still thinking. Mercy, if you exercise, you will have good health. Totally. All right, true. You can swim. Oi, swim. Swimming. You can swim if you have eaten a couple of minutes before. Hmm. That's not first conditional. But yeah, that's not for that's not first conditional or zero conditional. Hmm. <clears throat> una aclaración cuando va la cláusula if o sea la, la oración if es la que va en presente ojo como la condicionante es la que siempre va a ir en presente so if you eat a couple of minutes before you won't swim. You won't swim if you have, if you eat a couple of minutes before. Hmm. Hmm. If you have eaten a couple of minutes before, se podría ocupar el presente perfecto. Si has comido un par de minutos atrás, no podrás nadar. If you have eaten a couple of minutes before, you won't swim you won't be able to swim yeah there you go think 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 okay practice tomorrow we will do an exercise vamos a hacer un ejercicio mañana una dinámica muy divertida al inicio de la clase los espero a todos a las nueve en punto y por favor si no han terminado los ejercicios de la plataforma les invito a que lo hagan, ok. Nos queda nada más miércoles, jueves y luego de lunes a jueves de la otra semana y San se acabó. Ok. So please study. I'll see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Take care. You. Good Ciao, night. Bro. Y aunque haga frío, aunque haga frío, take a shower. Take a shower. I mean, bye. Goodbye. <laughs> bye. Take care, guys. Good night.